gathered out here today because it's a, it's a pretty bad situation going on right o over next to here, and that's a, they're letting about 300 cubic feet per second out, and that's not good. It's the first discharges from the lake in a while, but they're caught with this high lake level, and they've got to go somewhere with it, and they don't have anywhere to go south. And that's our big point today is that we need to buy that land south of the lake in order to have storage treatment and conveyance and move that water south. So that's our whole point today. We called this press meeting because we wanted the press and media here to understand the, the gravity of the situation. Even though this is not a huge discharge like we had in 2013, it could be because we're right at that same elevation as the lake was back in 2013 at this same time of year. And if they don't get the lake down to, uh, to 12 and a half feet by June 1st, they're gonna be really in trouble for hurricane season. So they're really nervous about the whole lake stage and why it's so high. And the Corps of Engineers is having to juggle over this and make decisions about what they can do with the water. And the only engineered way to do it is to release it to the St. Lucie, Calusa, Hatchie on the west coast and they're, they are putting a little bit south, but they're not putting enough because they don't have the capacity. And our whole point here is that we need capacity to put water south. And that's the reason why we need to buy that land and send it south and, and build some storage and treatment and conveyance to move it. You know, we're all gathered here before. We've all had huge rallies. You've all supported the, the fact that we got to turn out thousands at a time to these things. Even when the governor came up, that year and, and made his little appearance back there and came into the visitor center here, but he didn't come out and talk to the crowd, which I, was totally, totally disrespectful to us, I think. I think he needed to address us. He needed to tell us what he's going to do and how he's going to help this situation. And, and he still does. And now that he's elected for a second term, we put out those nine or ten things that he's promised that he will do in his second term and one of them is to stop these damaging discharges to the estuary. So we got to hold his feet to the fire, not only the governor, but the state legislature, to use the Amendment 1 monies to start buying that land south of the, in the EAA and push that water south. Because we don't have enough land there to make any kind of project or any kind of program. Now, we have projects going on over here with the, the C-44 project you might have heard about, or Kissimmee, or all these other projects, and they're good but the C-44 is only going to take care of our local basin runoff in the C-44. It's not going to deal with these discharges from Lake Okeechobee. So the only way to deal with them is to put the water south. And they've tried all kinds of other, looking at other projects, they've, they've looked at other things, and it really boils down to we've got to have enough land south of the lake, and that means buying up the Everglades Agricultural Area. And there's an option on the table this year, until October this year, to purchase 46,800 acres of land. Now that amount of land will take about 350 million, which sounds like a lot, but the Amendment 1 tax, the Amendment 1, will generate about 600 million a year. So we're only saying take part of that, take half of that, and let's buy some of this land that we have the option on just this year until October. If we don't do it now, we, we're gonna miss this opportunity. And he's already missed several opportunities in the past to, to get this purchase going and buy the land so that we can have that, that capacity to move that water south. Otherwise, it's gonna keep dumping out and we're gonna get worse conditions than this if we, if we don't have a plan to go forward. So it is about our jobs in, in Florida. It's about what we do here. And this is really, really important that you all showed up today to show the press and media why this is important to you as a citizen. I hope they interview you. I hope they come around and talk to you. I hope that you explain to them personally, whether it's the kids or, or us adults, why it's important to us personally, because we live here, we work here. We want this river and this estuary to be just what it is. And that's the Indian River Lagoon, the St. Lucie Estuary need to be a natural system. And the natural system south, the Everglades, is starving for water. I was at an Everglades conference this past weekend, and they're starving for water. Florida Bay is too high in salinity. The spoonbills can't nest. Things can't happen because that water's not going to the Everglades. So instead, they're dumping it out here, and it's a terrible waste of water. 1.7 billion gallons a day we're wasting to the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico when all of us in South Florida, 7.5 million people, we consume 1.3 billion. So we're literally dumping more water to the Atlantic and Gulf 
and all these flood control things than, than, than we actually consume, which is ludicrous in my point. So I just ran around. I want to tell you that, that what's important to us is this muck too. We're getting a lot of muck and silt and sediment. In 2013, we had 6,800 metric tons. That's, a, that's about 9,000 cubic yards. That's enough to fill an acre about five and a half feet high. So it's really a lot of muck. And what we need to do is send it south. Send it south, okay? I'm going to turn this over to some of our key, key folks here, namely Jackie Thurlow, Lippers next, and you'll hear from some other folks. Here you go. Thank you. Give it up for Jackie. Hey. Kids up here, just so you everybody can see them. Great, you can just stay down in front, stay down in front. Now you guys are so tall, you have to lean down. Now the River Kids are taller than me. When this started four years ago, three and a half years ago, they were shorter than me. Okay, Leon Abood has been the force behind the Rivers Coalition for two decades. Please give Leon Abood a round of applause as he will address us as the Rivers Coalition. We are all part of this coalition. Thank you very much. I hadn't realized, well I have realized it has been that long. Um, if you would have told me in 1998 that we'd be standing here now still fighting for this, for our estuary and for the lagoon, I would have said it was improbable, but, it is, but here we are and again here today. We are. Here we are again today. But look at these young faces. If there's anything that should motivate our politicians and motivate our policymakers is to correct this tragedy to our area for these young people. Because these, this, is, this is the future. These young people are our future. Protecting the environment, protecting the St. Lucie Estuary and the Indian River Lagoon is not only vital for our quality of life, it's vital for our economic sustainability and vital for the well-being of our young children. The message that, you want, that we want you to take with you here today is that when the Rivers Coalition formed in 1998, our primary goal was to, and, and still is, is to stop the discharges from Lake Okeechobee permanently. We need to stop the discharges from Lake Okeechobee permanently. And there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The state has to exercise the next option to purchase the EA8 land south of Lake Okeechobee so we, we can begin formulating the land so that we can create a flowway to move the water south from here into the Everglades, which vitally needs the water. So these young faces are your motivation, politicians. These young faces are your motivation for our policymakers. We need to buy the land, we need to send the water south, and for the Rivers Coalition, it is very buoying for us to have such community support here, such community support. The community gets it, the community is aware, our politicians have got to get it, the agencies have got to get it, and I want to thank you all very much for your support, and I want to thank the River Kids. Look how big they're getting. This, this is the next, this is the next generation of environmental warriors right here, folks. Give them your support. Um, we want to thank you very much for your support on behalf of the Rivers Coalition, now representing over 300,000 people. We're going to keep pounding away at it. People are surprised that we're still doing this after 20 years. We're making progress, and we'll be here for another 20, for another 40, until we permanently fix this. We have to send the water south, and we have to send it south now. Thank you very much, and give the River Kids a, a rousing round of applause.